Folks, uh, my name is Jyoti Jain. I am the VP of Product at Enact Systems. I am uh, going to give you a quick demo of uh, the Enact platform that is uh, designed to manage solar projects uh, throughout their project lifecycle. And uh, this is meant for solar professionals. Um, and it can be used uh, in multiple countries. So this is a system uh, that has been designed for the solar industry from ground up and uh, it can be used to manage uh, all kinds of distributed solar projects, residential or commercial of different sizes. So with that background, let's get started. I want to keep it short. So the, what you see here is the dashboard that you get to when you log in into the system. Uh, the system uh, is capable of um, creating accounts for all of your users in your in organization. And we also support uh, third party vendors as well as regional teams. So here on the left, you can see that you can have a multiple level hierarchy uh, that can be mapped into the system. And each uh, level can be provided privileges based on uh, their role in the organization. So if you need more details on that, uh, reach out to us. So let's dive in into uh, this dashboard here. It shows uh, the status of projects in the system and it's showing me uh, the number of projects in each stage, such as 46 in the opportunity stage. And within that stage, it divides the projects further into task, uh, a series of tasks such as conduct site visit. So these projects are awaiting a site visit. So it's a great way to dive into your project pipeline and look at where the projects are sitting and maybe reassign them or uh, to get a sense of uh, your um, the pipeline and the status of these projects in the various stages. These stages can be defined as uh, workflow profiles in the system uh, by going through this menu here, configure workflow. And um, it has a lot of functionality, including email notifications to team members on task completion, as well as define um, detailed tasks for each project uh, process that you want to implement. You can define multiple workflows for commercial versus residential, and it's very easy to map your uh, business process, the process you follow to uh, do solar projects into the system. Each of these are completely customizable and also can be, uh, um, you know, you can take advantage of, of the settings here to define all the tasks that are mandatory, such as take pictures of the roof or uh, define a task owner or send email notifications. All of that is possible very quickly. And once you set that up, um, the team can follow the process. So this is a great way for you to create a process if you have a growing team and you want to onboard team members quickly and um, make them follow uh, the process that you have set up in your organization. So that was about uh, the workflow itself. Now let's dive further into uh, creating projects and uh, the looking at the project's uh, details and so on. So let's go ahead and go to the projects dashboard here. And this is where all my projects exist. It gives me all the details on each project. Um, this is a dashboard view and I can choose to see more details for each project. This is, um, you know, um, this is available to you through the system. You can search for projects that you're interested in. So say, for example, if I'm only interested in commercial projects, I can quickly filter through that. And I, I can also create quick reports by downloading that data into Excel. So it's a great way to report um, the system, uh, report the project pipeline outside your organization. Or if you love Excel, we, we make it very easy for you to download data into Excel or upload data from an Excel. Now let's go ahead and create a new project. So I am going to provide uh, the name um, and the first name, last name, the email of the customer and the phone number. And the next thing to provide is the Google address. So I am going to take a Google address for a commercial system here. As an example, you can select your workflow profile, the lead owner and the type of project. And you can provide the name of the company. So say, for example, if this is a Target store, I can specify that and hit Create. This now takes me to the project details page where now I can start working on this project uh, once I have the basic information. 
and so I want to now provide uh, the electricity bill information and also um, you know create a design or a proposal for my customer so right away you can see the utility provider list is populated based on the address for the location and I can also select the electric rate my customer is on so if it's a non time of use rate I can select that and I can select the bill type whether I have annual or monthly data I can work with either or even green button data that is available for some of the utilities if I select annual I can just specify an annual uh, bill and this is a great way to start on a lead that you do not have enough information on but you can still create a quick design and a proposal that is uh, still shows all the solar savings and so on so this creates a quick consumption profile for your customer based on the annual bill and the rate they are on and so the system does a pretty good job of profiling the customer consumption you can right away see that the customer is paying 23 cents a kilowatt hour for uh, this rate uh, and this area creating a proposal is very easy just hit create quote and this brings up our design tool this is a very intuitive and easy to use design tool meant for your solar sales professional and uh, you really can get trained on this within within an hour so uh, once you have the design uh, the map comes up with the location you can select your array type the panel orientation and all of these good defaults will stay and you do not need to change for these for the most part you can select your manufacturer again this list is completely customizable and you can uh, then start drawing your pv array so i'll hit draw pv array and i'll start drawing the outline of my roof here and it tells me uh, the length of each side that i'm drawing gives me a good idea of the size here so you know 50 feet and by 104 feet or so so it draws the panels inside the roof it shows me i have 76.8 kilowatt system here 256 panels i can zoom in further and um, i want to take out um, panels where um, you know which may be near an obstruction i can do more things for example i can uh, specify uh, a keep out area here and then also do a quick shadow analysis of this obstruction so that I can assess which areas of my roof are shaded so for example here if I give it a height uh, it tells me uh, where the shade is going to fall for most of the year so this is giving me uh, the projection of the shade I can also do the same with a tree that is nearby again this, this if i think that this may also project shade on my array i can just quickly draw the outline of the tree and uh, then give it a height so this is a great way for you to analyze uh, you know uh, the shade due to uh, nearby objects on the roof or on the roof once i have the shade projection i can choose to keep my panels here or i can remove them one by one by double clicking or I can use this button here to delete all the shaded panels in case I do not want any shading on my array so this is a quick way for you to create new arrays and uh, now I've got a clean uh, nice design I'm going to take an image capture here so that I can use that in my proposal so this is a, a good way for me to customize what I show to my customer and uh, make it all appear very nice and clean and uh, once I've taken the image capture I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step for to define the inverter uh, and other choices for this design so for inverter it's pretty easy I'm going to add inverters of any brand I like and I can specify the quantity and this quantity is driven by uh, the AC capacity required for the system so it's all calculated for you and uh, you can just specify the quantity to make sure uh, this number is as close to zero as possible next you go to additional choices here I can select my post PV electric rate so if I want to shift to a time of use rate I can do that and net metering is automatically applied and next I hit system results to calculate the generation through the system it gives me a nice generation curve offsetting a lot of my consumption here and showing me a 64% savings on the bill 
the next uh, step is to go to the finance page where now I can select um, you know the financing options and uh, the pricing for this system and so on so for that I am uh, going to hit sale price breakdown and select all the items that I am um, adding to my quote I can uh, update the price further uh, to reflect my target sale price but uh, it helps me find out what is my margin over my suggested price so this is all very easy and it's part of the setup to do uh, to define the cost of the system uh, item by item and a pretty easy to customize list here um, that we can help you do the financing options are also set in the system again these are all customizable so you can select your financing option and you can compare between different options if you wish or you can uh, you know well choose to not provide these options and just uh, maybe just turn off um, the option that doesn't work for your customer each of these options can be customized further you can choose to apply depreciation options or finance interest deduction and so on uh, all of these are easy to just turn on off and then they affect the price uh, and the total I mean sorry the total savings for your customers once you are happy with all of that you can select your proposal template these templates are set up in the system uh, we can help you set this up and this can be completely uh, branded um, for your uh, use so you can put your logo your design and um, all of that for uh, this sorry I think I did not select the right one so uh, you choose your corporate uh, your template and um, and then this basically takes all the data from the uh, design that you just created the financing options the pricing all of that is then inserted into a template that is then uh, generated uh, as a PDF for you to share with your customer and um, present to them so this again is a just an example but the idea is to be able to put before your customer any doc a document that specifies you know their savings and what is the cost of the system the design they're proposing the financing options the cash flow so we have the ability to put in as much data as you like into this proposal template and this is a completely customizable document here which you know you can make your own based on um, your branding and the way you do business you can also have multiple templates uh, for residential versus commercial uh, you know those could differ and um, so these are um, you know these are um, we, we uh, load them up for you and uh, put data tags in them so uh, very easy for you to uh, brand this uh, the way you like once I have created the proposal I am going back to my project details page and here now I have got um, the, uh, the the proposal that I just created I, if I go ahead and edit it it will create a new version of the same thing so it's very easy to iterate through these based on your customer requirements you have a documents folder here where you can upload all the documents related to the project such as pictures warranty documents you can create contracts from uh, the system you can send it to your customer via DocuSign and so all that is tied uh, to uh, system. this is all available in the system so that you do not have to leave the system to close your contract or to uh, you know progress through your project the workflow here is now specifying uh, you know the steps that I should be doing so if I have done this I'm going to mark that I can the collected electricity bills I have to upload those so each of these are uh, you know steps that are prompted uh, by the system so that every user can follow the process that has been set up by their leaders in the organization and you can then move the project to the next step um, and continue to make progress such as this so the system is set to uh, allow your team to scale allow you to grow your business and respond um, to um, any leads that you get very quickly it is designed to uh, be easy to use and so uh, with a little bit of training you should be able to start using it pretty quickly so I am going to stop here and uh, to keep it uh, not a very long video but if you have any questions reach out to us I would love to talk to you about 
uh, the pricing and uh, how quickly you can start using the system. Um, this is probably one of the most complete solar project management software out there. And um, I would love to hear from you if you are in that business and if you want something that uh, would allow you to scale for many years to come. With that, thank you so much and uh, hope you uh, found this valuable and we'll talk to you later.